now I'm ready to do some painting to my pile. And these are the supplies that I'm going to need to use to do some painting. Q-tips, rubber gloves, frosted paint. Um, I use this on all my windows so that light passes through but the observer cannot see in. I do not detail any interior of my models. Black spray paint and enamel that I sprayed all the insides of all my buildings so light doesn't seep out through like white plastics and stuff. Good old standard white paint. I have acrylic paints that I use for um, fine detail and it's also spraying with an airbrush. Airbrush comes in real handy. Um, some jars to mix paint in and like a little plastic eyedropper to take paints from like bottles and put in the mix. These are my primary colors and this is what I use to mix all my paints. I have black, I have white, red, yellow, and blue. With red, yellow, and blue you can make any color in the rainbow. Those are your primary colors. Paint brushes, all different sizes and types. Uh, rubbing alcohol, 7%. Um, use this to cut with paints for certain applications. Same with Windex. Use Windex with the acrylic paints to uh, get certain flows and textures. Good old distilled water and paper towels. And also a spray booth comes in handy. Or you can use the good old outside. If you spray on the inside, you're liable to poison yourself from the fumes of especially enamel paints. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken the uh, windows, done the same thing, applied them to the sticky side of blue tape, painter's tape, wrapped around cardboard, and I'm going to hit them with this camouflage green. Okay, now that my uh, brick siding for my building is painted the color that I like, um, what I did is I took an empty old paint bottle and uh, I mixed some white, some yellow, a little drop of uh, black, a little drop of red. Mixed it all up real good. Also added some isopropic alcohol, 70%, and a little splash of uh, Windex. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to paint this. Uh, also note that these are acrylics, and I used enamel when I painted my brick so that I could uh, use this in the sink and not actually rub off my um, base color paint. Basically this is a, a thicker wash and uh, what I'm showing here is this all I'm doing is I'm using this wide brush. This piece that I'm showing you right now is a uh, piece that I will use to cut some wall columns with in my building. Um, and I'm only going to do a quarter of it so I can show you um, once it's done. And uh, I can show you the difference between uh, non-bordered grout in a brick building and what a wall looks like with mortar in it. Okay, once I get that done, I take a uh, paper towel and I'm just going to kind of blot, wait for this to dry, and then I'll go up to the sink and I'll rinse off the uh, top coat of um, what's on my brick.
Okay, now I've got all my walls. They are been grouted, the brick. All the window caps and doorways have been hand painted. And I'm going to start to assemble my walls. Okay, now that this is assembled, as you can see, I take my base. I have three of these, which is a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here. That's these three. I have two of the ones with the doors, which will go here. The three sided windows, or excuse me, two sided, three stories tall, will go here. And then my back wall, which will go here. I'll give these time to dry. And then after that, what I have to do is go through and glue the corner pieces on these edges so that when I start to assemble it on the base, it'll go together quite good. But I'm holding off on doing that because... My next step, once these fully dry, will be installing the window sashes and the windows. Now that I've uh, gone through and got my sides all glued together, started to put some windows in, and what I'm going to do here is just uh, demonstrate exactly what uh, I do with that. It's like any other model. You just glue and apply your few little drops here and there. I have to use my double magnification. Looks good, looks centered. And just give her a good press. And uh, voila, a door. Now, as you can see with one of these other pieces here, um, the windows are already put in. Put some white behind it so it's a little easier to see. Um, I've gone through and done this, like I said, to all the other pieces. 